Okay, so here we have a classic kind of Pythagorean theorem real-world problem. And usually the way this is set up is you have this building. You can see they're building right here, right, this brick wall. And that is assumed to be at a right angle, right? So they draw the right angle here. And then usually, in this case, we have a ladder or some kind of object leaning against the wall. So really what we're dealing with in all of these problems is the same thing. Is we're dealing with the right triangle, right, you can see it here and the Pythagorean theorem, which says, of course, that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Remember, that just means that one leg squared plus another leg, oh, sorry, that's the hypotenuse, plus another leg squared, right, equals the hypotenuse squared. And the hypotenuse is the longest side, which is across from the right angle. So now we just can kind of substitute these values into the formula. We have a leg squared, x squared, plus 19.5 squared equals 20 squared. And what are we trying to find? Well, we're trying to find the height of the length of the ladder. And, um, right, so, so here, sorry, no, we're trying to find, that's trying to, that didn't make sense, we're trying to find the distance x right here, the distance x from the foot of the ladder to the base of the house. Sorry about that. Um, so to find that, to isolate this, this term and this variable, we would need to subtract 19.5 squared from both sides. Notice I'm not squaring 19.5 yet. Um, there's just not a point to that, especially since in this answer, right, you can see what they're looking for is a strategy to find x, not the actual number. And in many cases, there you don't need to evaluate each value. You just need to move the terms around to rewrite what's happening. So when you do this, when you shift things around, you get x squared equals 20 squared minus 19.5 squared. But you don't want to know what x squared is. You want to know what x is, that distance. To find what x is when you have x squared, you take the square root of both sides. On the left side here, the square root of x squared is x. And the square root on the right, well, we'll just leave it in this form right here, 20 squared minus 19.5 squared. So that's it. That's right, x is equal to the square root of that difference, which is choice number three. All right, hope that helped.